Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and today we're talking about the DJI RC2, and this is really good. So now, I love this. I, I love the first RC. It was fantastic because it was great. It was a huge leap forward in, in terms of the drone technology, in my opinion. I had the first DJI RC, and I thought that was really, really great. I liked the way that it just synced up with my drone. I had a Mini 3 Pro. It also, you know, had the screen here. It was bright, 700 nits of brightness. It just, everything worked really, really well. This takes it to the next level and I'll show you how. Now, first of all, I have to say that this video is not sponsored by DJI or anybody else. Number two, I paid for this with my own money. And number three, these are our own true honest opinions. So here's what I like about this. It's gonna be very, very similar. Let me show you what this looks like and I'll kind of walk through it. You've got your screen right here. You've got your controllers right here. You've got some things that are gonna control the, the drone here. I'm gonna talk through all of those. On the back here, you'll have the control joysticks that kind of screw right into it. And you have a C1 button, a C2 button. You also have a record button, a photo button. And then you have these two dials that'll do different things. I'll talk to you about that. Okay, so what I do is when I'm getting ready out there in the field, you just take this off and you'll just put this right here. It'll screw right on top. Super simple, not hard at all. Okay, now I push the button to turn this on. That tells you how much power it has on it. Now here at the, at the bottom, you can put in an SD card and you also have your USB-C for power. So you can see that. So very straightforward. You can see how bright the screen is and, and see it, it lighting up right there. You can see what the screen looks like. Now I've got the gimbal cover on, so it's kind of you know blurred out and everything like that, but you've got a lot of controls here. I've got my record buttons here. I can choose between video. I can choose between master shots, photos, slow motion, zooms, the different cameras. It'll tell me how much battery I have left. It'll tell me where my drone is in terms of height and everything like that. I've got an automatic takeoff button. So many different things here. I can update the firmware, it shows me what video mode I'm in, 4K60. You can see there's so many controls that I have right there and information on that screen. It just makes it super easy. So gone are the days of having to pair your phone and have the phone up here and the controller down here and, and sync those up. It just, it's everything's all integrated right here. I can do firmware updates, I can do everything for the drone and, and this um, controller. Now here's the other thing that's cool. This now, with these antennas, this is a new thing for the RC2. It has much more signal strength range with these right here. These are just great. It, they just work phenomenal. I, I mean, I've had times when I had the regular RC with my Mini 3 Pro. Now granted, I haven't sent this super far out or anything like that, but I had times with, the, with my Mini 3 Pro where there could be some signal interference or I was losing, you know, and I had to bring it back. But this is, I think, they say it has signal strength, I believe up to 20 kilometers, all right? So tremendous, tremendous, tremendous capability now. Uh, now here, what this will do again, you'll take a picture here. Actually, let me take the gimbal protection off just so I can do some stuff here with this drone. With that off, you can see how clear that picture is. It's phenomenal. With this controller, with this one, I can zoom in and out. Can you see that? I can zoom in and out with my 3X zoom. I can also select between my cameras. So if I go with the three here, it'll now go to the 70 millimeter. And look how tight of a shot that is. And from here, I can do a 3X zoom on that. So that's super, you know, probably not what you want to use like indoors. See here, you can see what I'm doing right there. And now here, I can also tilt this axis up and down. So I've got all this control right here and zooming in and out and switching between the cameras. 70 millimeter, well, 24 millimeter, and it's just great. And I have all these other controls too. I have different controls of video modes here, photo, video, master shots, slow motion, night mode, which is awesome as well, right? And then, so you can do different things there. It, again, it gives me, look at that with the colors, and it just gives me tremendous capabilities. So there you go. I really, really love this a lot. This is just great, the DJI, RC2, I think it's phenomenal. They did a great job. They took an already existing excellent product and they took it to the next level, right? I would say, and it has, the other thing I love about this too, actually, before I forget, is you can do different things. Like 
What's cool here, I can't do it on long flight. You have an active track mode. With the active track mode now, it, you can have it follow from the front, from the back, from the side, from the side at different ranges. That's huge. I love that. There's just more modes in here. There's more range in here. It's taking everything, it's taking up to the next level. It's just absolutely phenomenal. On a one to 10, I'm definitely giving this a 10. I think it's so, so good. Uh, particularly for the class that it's in and this whole ecosystem for the DJI Air 3. I think it's phenomenal and this is one of the cornerstones to it. The DJI RC2. I'm saying 10 out of 10. That's my opinion. I'm John D. Villarreal. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.